Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel, this year at PDAC 2023, and I'm with George Glazier, who is CEO and President of Western Uranium and Vanadium, two uh, uh, hot metals these days. How are you today, George? I'm good. So what can you tell us about your main project, the South Mine Complex, uh, the uh, high-grade uranium and vanadium project? What can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, the Sunday Mine Complex is in production now. We have miners in there. We've been primarily developing the mine for, for full-scale mining, but we're also producing a significant amount of high-grade uranium vanadium ore right now, stockpiling it in the mine uh, for shipment to the processing plant when that plant is ready. Uh, we're in the process, obviously, of uh, engineering and permitting for the construction of that, that plant. So uh, the mining operation is going well. Uh, We've acquired all the equipment we need to start the mining operation. Uh, once it's in full production, we'll need additional equipment. But one of the few companies that's actually mining any of this uranium vanadium in the world, yeah. when it's in combination of the, the same deposit. Yeah, sorry, the Sunday Mine Complex. Sunday, Sunday Mine, complex, Sunday yeah. Mine. It's made up of five mines. Yeah, five, yeah I saw that. And, and are all in the production now? or what? Uh, We were into just one now. We've only got one crew in there, but they're, in, they're just developing one of the five mines uh, right now. But that's why we'll have crews in four. When we're in full production, we'll have crews in four of the five. And when I looked at your uh, presentation, I noticed that there was different types of mineralization. There were some, looked like some pure vanadium, pure uranium, and, and, a, and a, a host of the other. So what can you sort of tell us about the geology of the... Well, if you look at it and you take a picture of this, you can see that the vanadium is a real dark. It's not oxidized. The uranium is oxidized when it's been exposed to air. You know, you get the yellow uh, uranium. And the, some of the seams are together, but they're right together. So when we blast, we blast them out at the same time, so it comes out in the same rock. You could try to split shoot it and get the vanadium alone, but you would mix it with uranium, so why not shoot it all together? And that's what we do. We, we mine both of the, the minerals at the same time and we'll process both of, both of them at the same time. And what sort of uh, um, exploration are you doing in the area as well? Like, are you looking for more vanadium and, and well, uranium? Well, yeah, we're doing basically our explorations underground. We're doing what they call long hole drilling. We've got limited holes going out into the ore body because the ore has been drilled a limited amount from the surface. So what we're going to define it is from underground. And you can do that. We've got a machine we're buying, going to buy it, that can go out about 1,000 feet underground uh, and define the ore. So. And that's important. You can run that uh, you know, 365 days a year. And it's all, when you're underground, it's a lot cheaper to, to drill it because you're you don't, have, you don't have surface. Uh, you're, you're, not, you're not going through 600 feet of barren rock. Yeah. You're, you're right in the ore the whole way. Right. And, and what sort of processing plant are you building in, in, in the States? Well, we're going to build a state-of-the-art uranium vanadium processing plant. We had an announcement of this. We've already acquired the site. We're doing the having outside engineering firm do the design, doing the environmental work. And this permit application should be in by the end of this year. Uh, and we should be able to start construction in 25 is our goal, with a, maybe a year to build it, so it should be in production in early 26. And then you'll process both uranium and vanadium. I also saw cobalt in that right, plant. Yeah. yeah, there's a number of cobalt occurrences in Utah. Now, we don't claim to have cobalt. We haven't really been concentrating on that, but we've had a number of people come to us saying, if you're going to build a processing plant, put in a cobalt circuit. And we're certainly willing to consider that. We can design it in, very little extra cost to design it. If, in fact, cobalt producers come to us, we'll build it. But we're not quite there yet, but we will design it for a cobalt circuit. And what makes this processing plant different than other processing plants? Well, the front end of this is going to be our technology, what we call now kinetic separation, which is a patent technology that reduces the mass that you put through the mill by up to 10 times. So in other words, if you bring 100 tons of raw ore, you'll process 10 tons through the mill, which reduces the environmental footprint considerably and it reduces the cost of production. Now that patent technology will be at the front end of the mill. And it, and it makes it a lower capex project as well? Far, far lower because the size of the mill, instead of building, let's say, 1,000 tons, we can build 100 tons. So the physical plant is just a fraction of the size, and that obviously tankage, piping, pumps, 
you just have a fraction of that. So the capital cost is reduced considerably because of the size. And in the meantime, you're, you're mining, so you're going to have a whole bunch of stockpiled ore ready to go, right? Oh, yeah. By the time we start that mill, we'll have at least half of the first year's feed stockpiled. And so what can investors expect this year from, from news from the company? Well, we'll be announcing that the success of our mining operation and the underground exploration program. We'll be announcing, obviously, the progress on the processing plant, uh, things like that. So I think those are the things that we will be progressing on and announcing to the investors. That's great. Well, thanks for your time today. I was here with George Glazier, who is the president and CEO of Western Unadium and Vanadium.